so this is the purpose of a fish feeder ring. It allows me to create a hole in the middle of the duckweed in which I can feed my fish without interrupting the duckweed around it. So I can feed the fish, the fish are to produce waste, which is gonna help supercharge my duckweed, ultimately for these guys right here. So here we go, we start, we're starting to fill up the ice tray. I'm using an ice tray here. Each circle is approximately one ounce and that gives us 21 ounces of high quality, high protein, super green, high calcium, you know, high fiber duckweed. Survival food right there. The rabbits are gonna love it. Well, truth be told, I like it too. Hey everybody, it's the Monil Prepster here. It's late at night, super tired, it's been a long week, but I've been putting this video off for way too long. I just need to get it out there. Super excited about this video, but you know, work happens, life happens. So I'm gonna get it out to you guys today. So we're talking about duckweed. Duckweed is the topic of, of discussion for this video. And for most people, duckweed is just this really unwanted, evasive weed, aquatic weed that gets stuck in the water filters, is grows out of control and people don't like it. And then you have my perspective, which is literally the polar opposite. Um, I can't I can't get enough duckweed. duckweed. For me, duckweed is a miracle super green. Hands down, absolutely no no ifs, ands, or buts. That's just my personal that's my personal take on duckweed. And so for me duckweed is a an amazing food source, it's an amazing supplement, and most importantly I think it's the most cost effective renewable energy known to mankind currently. And by known to mankind, I literally mean you can run a vehicle off it. You can make biofuel out of duckweed. So, like I said, I can go through this long exhaustive list with you and just you know ramble off different facts about it, but I'm gonna put that in the description so you can look at the description with, it's gonna be bulleted so you can look at an exhaustive list and then the links to the literature will also be there. But I prefer just to tell you why I why I grow it, and I'll I'll keep with the highlights that I think are most important or that are most important to me. So, I put it in every aquatic system that I have here on my homestead. So all my aquaponic systems have duckweed. All my aquariums have duckweed. Any place I can put duckweed and grow duckweed, I grow duckweed. So it's an amazing water filter. It's great for preventing mosquitoes. Cause it's going to layer the top surface of the water. It's gonna, it's going to prevent algae growth. It's going to reduce the evaporations of your body of water, which is super important because water is precious and you want to maintain and hold as much water as you possibly can. It's free food for you. It's free food for your animals. Um, it's great for compost. It's a great addition to compost. I'm going to say it one more time for added effects so you hope you guys can retain it. It is an amazing addition to your compost. Duckweed, high quality duckweed, is 45% protein. 45% protein. I'm going to say that one more time as well. 45% protein. You're not going to get that from an animal source. Even your high concentrated protein powders are not going to be that high. And if they are that high, you're not going to get the type of quality you get from duckweed. I'm sorry. Whey just has the whey, the quality of whey protein is nowhere near the quality of, of duckweed. Sorry, try again. It's a great source of unsaturated fatty, fatty acids, extremely high in calcium, extremely high in fiber. And it has a lot of medicinal, um, character characteristics to it so it's been long known that it treats inflammatory any kind of inflammatory elements inflammation it treats upper, upper respiratory tract infections it's also known to treat rheumatoid uh, arthritis externally it's been known to help with skin rashes eczema swelling and also insect bites and when people say that it's an aquatic weed or pestilence what they're referring to is its ability to double its biomass every 16 hours. So it can double its size every 16 hours. That's a lot of duckweed. Does it, it takes care of itself. You literally put it in mediocre conditions and this stuff will just grow like crazy. The only side effects that I've seen from the, the literature that I've been able to, that I've been able to research and find is if you ingest mass quantities of it, you run the risk of getting kidney stones because of how high the cost, the calcium content in it. In it is. So, I mean, you're talking about just an amazing super green that has the ability to take water, filter it, 
and produce you with it, give you an amazing product. And those are the reasons why I love it, especially in the wintertime when I'm not able to, with my garden, produce as much uh, greens as, as, as I would like. This is this comes in and it pitch hits for me. It gives me a high quality, um, high, high quality supplement that I can use for myself, that I can eat myself, that I can give my animals, especially in the wintertime when you're not growing um, as many greens. This will do. This will do it for you. So, like I said, I, I can I can sit here and just go off all the, you know, just read an exhaustive list. But it'll be in the in the description below. Now you might be wondering where do I get this stuff if I want it. Truth be told, go to any body of water. You know, especially a sitting body of water like a pond, a lake. But you'll see this in creeks. You'll see it in rivers. Um, but let's say you don't have a, a you know body of water near you. Go to your local pet store. Last time I went to the pet store. I mean, you go to the pet store, the stuff's going to be just crowding. It's going to be all over in, in, in the aquariums, at least in my experience, that's what I've seen. Last time I went to a pet store and asked for their, for their duck weed, the guy's like, you really want it? I'm like, yeah. He's like, how much do you want? I'm like, how much will you give me? This guy's literally just going net after net, just piling it on there for me. Totally free. Didn't get charged for it. These people literally are just trying to get rid of it because if not, you know, it becomes too much and it starts clogging their system. They're going to use chemicals to destroy it. So they, I've never had a problem with anybody not wanting to give me all their duckweed. And so they see it as a pestilence. I see it as a, as a miracle, <laughs> miracle green. So there you have it. Like I said, don't just take my advice for it. Look at the literature. Look it up for yourself. See if this is something that you can, that you can procure and grow yourself and use it to supplement your diet, the diet of your animals. Just see if it's another tool in your, in your toolbox because at the end of the day, you know the, you know the name of my game. It's all about sustainability. It's all about, you know, sustainability, good health, preparedness. So there you have it, guys. Hope you guys like the video. And always, long live the republic.